asking to write about us and and, and list us on their sites and uh, and that was the start of how we built traction really um, once you've got once you've got large sites like Forbes and Inc um, and and Huff, Huff Post you know featuring your company you then get other bloggers using that feature and saying well I might write a piece about them uh, and so you, you get this sort of compound marketing effect um, and, and you know, that you know that's the beauty of, of content marketing that, that's it in action really it costs nothing and, it, and it's just incredibly effective when done right and everything has to be in place so you're right to to state there the power of content marketing and in your sense you went viral in your own way because you you put the product out there to people who would give you feedback who are interested in adopting things at an early stage Uh, but then the product you know q had to be right as well it had to be something that excited them and so everything's come together and it happened, Matt, which is great. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a joy to work on every day, and you know, we're we're loving the journey. It's yeah, things things have fallen into place at the right time, so it seems. But I think you have to you work quite hard to try and get that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, there's always more hard work behind everything, isn't there? There's no such thing as an overnight success. That's true. It's it's always all those things that you up late at night, up early in the morning, all those moments. <laughs> so true. So tell us a bit about what does Q do now that no other tool out there can do? You mentioned before about curation, and before Q was around, I guess people would have been using things like Buffer or even Hootsuite to help them with curation tasks. Yeah. So what, what is it that Q would do beyond what they would offer? It's a really good question, and that was something that we had to ask ourselves early on. Like, How can we make this service something which is, um, is unique? Um, and... The reason I liked so much Dan's idea was because the USP he'd chosen was that the content suggestions weren't generated by an algorithm that was looking for keywords. It was um, reviewed by by humans, by real people that are reading the content, understanding what it's about, and using common sense and, and discerning, um, I, I guess, being able to discern whether it's still relevant and if it's high quality and it's engaged and it's well-written, um, all these different elements that a that an algorithm would struggle to to pick up on. So, I guess the fact that the content is so reliable is is Q's USP, its unique selling point. The fact that um, we hand pick everything and hand review everything, whether that's content coming from our trusted curators or content being submitted by the public, we have to read each and every piece and apply our own quality criteria to see if it you know matches up and and is this is something that's safe to be shared by all our users so i, I guess you know it provides that level of of, of um, security if you're if you're concerned about what you're sharing you don't have to worry about if it's on on point or not because we've already done that sort of re- that due diligence for you and that matt was my favorite thing so when i discovered your app that was absolutely the key thing that stood out for me as well cool uh, and it's worked out. I have to say that. I think your team, whoever they are, wherever they are, do a great job of curating that content. Thank you. I mean, one of the things as well is that we understand we can't please everyone all the time. Not every piece of content we send is going to be perfect for everybody. Uh, you know, we try to, we, we apply rules in a way which hopefully mean the content will be appropriate for the, as, as wide a um, demographic of people as possible. But they are literally content suggestions we're not forcing this content upon anyone it's just sort of these are suggestions to help save you time and and hopefully fill your timeline with stuff that your followers will engage with yeah yeah and that's what you put in your email isn't it that comes in every day your great news here's your content suggestions for the day yeah exactly yeah so mark tell us a bit about what you've done to promote q outside of those initial technology target audiences so you began on beta list and went through product runs i discovered you on AppSumo. how did you go beyond that well in in all honesty i think that it's just been the timing um we we obviously had uh two app sumo listings two product hunt features um and we've we've really um planned our sort of content marketing schedule in terms of uh, big fe- bigger features for larger publications and, and sites around that. 
to try and keep that momentum going. Uh, one of the main things for us is that we actually use Q for our own marketing. So we try to make our blog um, value-adding and interesting rather than being too self-promotional. Uh, everything that we, we try and put out there is supposed to be providing social media advice, content marketing advice, startup advice, uh, anything that could be relevant to our users. So as long as we can apl um, apply um, our own blog content to our, quite, our um, quality criteria, we can add our own content to Q to be shared by our users. So um, we're using our own company to, company to market ourselves, really, uh, which obviously costs nothing, um, which means our marketing budget is very low. Um, and, and, and genuinely, we, we know, we've experimented with a few different forms of advertising, paid advertising, and we had nowhere near the same results as, as we have using Q. And so uh, we're at present, although we plan to keep experimenting with other ways of growing, we're only using our own tool to market ourselves right now uh, and, and, and a few pieces of promo. So um, I guess <laughs> it's probably not the most interesting answer, but um, we, we've used Q, um, is, is, is my answer, um, to help us grow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an answer of the proof is in the pudding. It so is. you have Q there. Yeah. And it's, obvious, it's working not only for you, but for other people too. Yeah, so we're really proud of it. Long may it continue. Yeah, we know that we can stand by it, so that's good. <laughs> So, Mark, give us some insights into some of the tougher moments that you've had so far. You know, you've had a great meteoric rise from, what are you now, a year and a half old in total? Uh, so what have been the yeah, tougher I mean, we're moments? we're just under a year old now, but it seems like there's been a lot happening that time. I, and, I, and I think that definitely, I think Dan would agree with me um, that one of the, the hardest moments for us was um, just after 2016 when we launched QPromote. Um, and we started to make some real money. Uh, we we went to get a second round of seed investment, and uh, and it's really hard in the UK to find investment. Um, we we went to three formal pitches, um, so we spent a lot of time putting together our pitch deck. Um, you know, building projections and estimates and all the things that you need to do to impress the the investors. And there was one meeting in particular at a private members club in London somewhere uh, where we had to pitch to 100 um, hungry investors all suited up all with their notepads sitting there we were on stage mic'd up with a big presentation on screen and it was so nerve-wracking and so much so much work went into the preparation of that and so much nervous energy um, and you know afterwards you're being grilled by these guys um, uh, just with their questions and it was just um it was a really tough, tough ordeal for what, at the time, didn't seem like enough money. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, helped us, it helped us get to where we need to be. So I think that's part of a startup um, journey generally. You're going to have times where you just work so hard, as you said earlier, very early mornings, late nights, bags under the eyes, anxiety. But it's all worth it if you get to do what you love on a daily basis and, and I, and both Dan and I love what we do every morning and it, we've been allowed to do that because we went through that pain barrier and we managed to get that investment. Well done to you both, Matt. I can imagine that wasn't easy. So in, in that time, you've been around a short amount of, of uh, months that you, you actually corrected me then and told me it was just a year, which is incredible, Matt. So how has Twitter, social media, the web changed in that time because even a year is a long time online yeah i'm absolutely uh i mean in terms of like since we started q i wouldn't say there's been any dramatic changes um i i think like a, a recent one pop, um, pops into mind that uh, facebook have changed their algorithm uh, for how content is listed on timelines and how it's prioritized based on whether the heading of the article is um reflective of, of the content so they're, they're trying to avoid clickbait clickbait style headlines which is a good a good thing for all of us we don't want to see a headline uh that's just trying to induce a click and then you, you get onto the article and it's something completely different completely irrelevant 
Um, and that, you know, that, that, that sort of matches up with what we want to do at Q. Most of the, the share text that we create for people to share on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn is, is built around what the headline is of the article so that we're not misleading anyone. So hopefully nobody thinks that our shares are a clickbait. But I mean, I, th- I think I think that that sort of highlights the change that people are looking more into quality content than than, than quantity. Definitely, we're still in some ways we're, we're coming from the beginnings of the web, aren't we? When when SEO was the dominant web marketing practice, and a lot of what SEO was about at the time was quantity rather than quality of content and links. Yeah, and so I. Th- Absolutely. I think that's a great point you've made there that there is this consistent progression towards quality and that's ongoing. One thing you help us promote, Matt, is our podcast. So some of our podcasts will run through Q and you get great distribution on, on the on the shares and the, the, the kind of reflection of our podcasts. Have you seen an increase in video and audio content coming through your network? We have, yeah. We, I mean, we definitely have. I, I don't know if that's just because uh, more and more people are turning to that because it's providing a refreshing solution to to content marketing, or if it's just because our user numbers have increased. It could be both. But um, it's it's an interesting one for us actually because we hand review everything, and we get a lot of quite lengthy media content um, submitted. It's it raises a question for us as to how sustainable it is for us to to curate it um, because it you know we. We can't fairly, we can't um, responsibly say that we've approved something if we haven't checked it all. So, does that mean if we get an hour-long podcast submitted that our reviewer has to listen to the entire thing? It's an interesting question. Um, you know, and we're completely transparent about our process and, and what we're trying to do. We're learning every day uh, about how we can make it as good as possible. So, right now, I think we're we're trying to refine our rules around. Um, uh, what we allow to be submitted in terms of podcasts and videos um, so that they're not too long. Um, but we appreciate at the same time that's not really a fair parameter. So um, it may be that in the future we have approved podcasters or approved vloggers or whatever it may be, and, and they, they're, they're a sort of curator, I, I guess, who can submit, submit content more freely. But um, I guess that's something that we'll look at in the future. It's definitely a popular, popular medium, though. Absolutely, and I think probably will only grow. You know, Facebook Live and tools of that kind, which which are really about live broadcasting, um, that becomes a whole other thought for you. So, what will you develop next in the business? Ah, that's a good question. There's a few things that I can't talk about, but um, but I mean, we 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 we've, we've just released the new Q Promote app, which is uh, far more sophisticated than our initial. Um, way of doing things through just type forms that was a that was a, a a fun development but our next our next step is to enhance the the Q app there's the, for people using content suggestions so they've given us a lot of feedback and it's well overdue that we make these improvements to it uh just uh tweaks that allow people a bit more flexibility uh probably be able to check their the metrics of their shares more so they can see what's been most uh, effective uh, things like being able to assign cat, um, content suggestions from a certain interest category to a specific social profile. You know, it seems like a simple thing, but right now, Q will send it to all of your profiles. So we're, we're going to make tweaks like this just to um, just to improve that based on the feedback that we've had so far. Um, so I think you'll, you'll definitely see changes to that in the near future. But there's a lot there's a lot more up our sleeve. <laughs> so some of the the secrets we have to wait for but we can expect more more choice i guess on yeah. the ability to we can, channel we can our content the <laughs> there <Yeah>. we go <laughs> that's what we'll do we'll catch up at that point <laughs> so matt for everyone that's listening it's been a fascinating chat so far a lot of great insights into the life of a startup where can everybody find you online find me or find you or both of us <laughs> give both why not um, give both well, <laughs> well, I mean, for, to find Q, you, obviously you can Google it, Q-U-U-U, um, but we're on Q.co and uh, QPromote.co. So if you're, a, if, you want, if you're interested in content suggestions, then head over to Q.co. And if you're a content creator and you want more people to share your stuff, then go to QPromote.co. 
but both, both sites link to each other so you'll you'll, you'll